today's tutorial is pretty straightforward and simple it's just to show you how you can easily make the satin reversible satin bonnet without any kind of stress of measurement or patterns whatever it is just comment down below if you want me to make a video on the different ways you can style this so what you do other part of this to looking for a round item that is big enough for you so at first i wanted to and then discover it's not as big as i want so i was looking for and then i saw this and i discovered this is bigger so that's why i use this to trace out the size so this is perfect so you can get something bigger just go around check if you have something with this circumference so now i'm just going to trace out and cut so finding second the circumference that you want is the only hard work <laughs> in this tutorial so you see this is actually bigger so that's why i prefer it because i want it to be fuller in case i'm carrying a bigger hair so this i'm just going to use it to trace out the inside satin so that it will be reversible so just watch closely this it took a lot of time because i have to trace it but you know what to do so this is it it's ready so the next step now i'm going to put it face it inside out like the two front is going to face each other and then you sew but first before you sew just mark out an opening that we use to turn maybe like one inch or one and a half inch because you're going to use it to turn this material out so you sew around till you stop in the opening so this is the opening now i'm going to turn it out from the other end to where there's an opening so it's so easy so if today is your first time on my channel please hit the subscribe button down below for more diy fashion so i also take in requests i'm taking in requests can drop a comment down below if you want me to show you the different way you can actually style this reversible setting i have a little lot of ideas of doing that so now i'm just going to leave at least one inch and sew round don't bother about the opening so you can sew past the opening because it doesn't matter that's where you're going to use to fix in this as elastic band to know the size of this elastic band just wrap it around your head your forehead to the back and then cut so that's how you don't need the measurement so now you just use your safety pin to put it from one hand to come out in the other end so this is it so before you do any adjustment you just quickly sew it so that i don't go back inside that's it now you're gonna evenly distribute the excess materials to the elastic band so this is it it's ready so simple so easy like <laughs> now you just to close the opening it's easy as pay now the next step is just for us to make the second piece this i added because i realized that's the best way for you to style it for you to have a strap so i'm just going to cut five inch width and then 60 inch of length because i want it to be long enough for me to work with in the, with any size so i'm just going to use the same thing to stretch out the satin because it's going to be reversible too so now i'm just going to sew it down on all sides then of course leave an opening that you use to turn i prefer my opening to be either at the middle part so that it won't show or it will be obvious please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thumbs up I really appreciate that and share share to your friends so that they too can know how to do this you don't need to spend much on this all you need is your fabric and then you're good to go this is it guys so it's ready well pressed and ready to be rocked so please give this video a thumbs up please share and then subscribe see you on my next video